So, another week, another Quaker on movie segment. Uh, well, I've got three interesting headlines this week, a bit varied. Uh, so, without further ado, movies don't have enough male heroes, according to Fox News. So, initially, this is kind of skeptical, uh, both because it sounds like a load of nonsense and it's from Fox News, the double whammy there. Um, but yes, Fox News on a segment. Um, <laughs> co-hosted by Penny Nance, the CEO of Concerned Women for America, um, basically argued the point that movies like Frozen were indicative of the fact that these days modern movies don't have heroic male characters or intelligent male characters. Uh, essentially the argument being that in Frozen specifically, um, basically all the male characters were kind of stupid. Which, uh, you know, maybe you have a point there, but then you kind of look at the other thousands of movies that are coming out in Hollywood every year, uh, and perhaps most of them have main male characters who are very heroic and know everything, and often they don't even have female roles in the movies. I kind of take on board what Fox is saying with a heavy dose of scepticism. Now, Fox obviously isn't known for its love of facts or intelligent discussion or reason or many things and this is perhaps just another example of that you're listening to the loop with with Candace. sony pictures have maybe had uh, perhaps the toughest time at the moment uh, compared to the other movie studios and perhaps um Hopefully, capping off this bad period, Amy Pascal, uh, the co-chairman of uh, Sony Pictures Entertainment, has stepped down, as well as the uh, chairman of Sony Motion Picture Group. Um, she's someone who spent most of her professional life uh, at the company um, and has been the producer on Ghostbusters uh, and was also for, set to be the producer for future Spider-Man films. Um, you know, according to the story that we're hearing, um, she's basically going to be heading off to head up her own production company, a new venture that will be working in association with Sony, who will own print rights for the next four years. So I suppose she's um, still landing on her feet compared to other, I suppose, high profile senior managers who've kind of left their roles, uh, senior executives, I should say, who've left their roles. But um, an interesting one there. Um, she might be perhaps most well known for the bit of controversy relating to the uh, hacking scandal uh, where a uh, set of emails between her and a colleague were released, um, whereby she re was referring to uh, President Obama's viewing habits in um, what some would deem a derogatory manner. To be honest, I think um, personal opinion here, it were personal and private emails, uh, fair enough, on a corporate account, but it was between her and another colleague. I think these type of things, you, I mean, I've, I've said some silly things in my time on emails, but they're all in, uh, in jest, really, and in private, and that's the key thing. I'm sure most of us in private have said things that in public obviously be taken in a very different context but I'll get off my soapbox um, with uh, with Amy uh, I suppose this would be a new new position for her uh, perhaps I suppose it would be something that uh, she's fortunate to, to be in um, based off the uh, public backlash that she faced um, but uh, hopefully this will be the end of the bad stuff and the bad news for Sony they can kind of move on from this um, but we'll see what happens over the coming months okay Something that's close to my heart, being a, uh, a nerd, but you already know that, and a geek. Stargate, uh, so the Roland Emmerich-directed uh, movie um, from 1994, way back when, which started, of course, the various Stargate TV show franchises, um, is coming back to the big screen. Now, obviously, uh, we, we know about Roland Emmerich's... Um, I suppose major project at the moment which is uh, ID for Independence Day um, the sequel um, which will be hitting screens in the next couple of years hopefully um, and was it initially meant to be part of a trilogy you know another trilogy he originally I foresaw was Stargate which was meant to be part of a trilogy of movies and uh, belatedly he's now looking to reimagine that so it is a reboot um, he will be directing the reboot which is probably a first I can't think of many other times that uh, a director slash creator has um, rebooted his own franchise but hey that's Royal and Emmerich breaking down them barriers so um, we don't know too much about this at the moment but it is a retelling of the story which is aiming for a trilogy 